cruelty and injustice, intolerance and oppression, and where once you had the freedom to object, to think and speak as you saw fit. You now have sensors and systems of surveillance coercing your conformity and soliciting your submission. How did this happen? Who's to blame? Ah, well certainly there are those who are more responsible than others, and they will be held accountable. But again, truth be told, if you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into a mirror. I know why you did it. I know you were afraid. Who wouldn't be? War, terror, disease. There were a myriad of problems which conspired to corrupt your reason and rob you of your common sense. Fear got the best of you, and in your panic, you turned to the now High Chancellor Adam Sutler. He promised you order. He promised you peace. And all he demanded in return was your silent, obedient consent. If the crimes of this government remain unknown to you, then I would suggest that you allow the 5th of November to pass unmarked. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and if you would seek as I seek, and if you would seek as I seek, then I ask you to stand beside me. Then I ask you to one year from tonight, outside the gates of Parliament. And together, we shall give them a 5th of November that shall never, ever, ever be forgot. <laughs> If the crimes of this government remain unknown to you, then I would suggest that you allow the 5th of November to pass unmarked. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and together we shall give them a 5th of November that shall never, ever be forgotten. Together, we shall give them a 5th of November that shall never, ever, ever be forgotten.
Cause right up 
beginning to decay. You have nowhere to run.